this tutorial is a special one is uh, for my friend Richard um, he wants to know how to get an arrow to grab somebody's attention doing it in Final Cut Pro uh, my thing is to do it in motion so if you want to just do arrow like how that is and make it transparent watch what I do so we're gonna go into motion uh, real quick and uh, we will do it there so so first of all let me just do a new project so I'm just gonna go new file motion project and I'm just gonna leave it 1280 by 720 alright then what I'm going to do I'm gonna go under the library then I'm gonna go under shapes and then I see an arrow alright when I see the arrow I'm just gonna drag it right here on the canvas and um, of course I drag a drug I drag the blue rectangle so let's try that again let's get an arrow on the canvas there we go so once I do that I'm going to just turn the arrow well, that little handlebar right there. Then I'm going to hold my shift key and uh, make it bigger, smaller, whatever. You can make it, um, you can adjust the arrow properties with color. If I want to make it another color or something like that, let's just say I wanted that color arrow. You could feather it if you wanted to a little bit, and outline it. Let's try to outline it. Let's see we have with yeah I like that right there so you can do all those kind of things right here um, so what I'm going to do is hit the shift key and then I'm going to just take it down smaller and then I can pull it out like that so I like that arrow right there so after you get the arrow you adjust all your properties the key is share export movie then what I want to make sure I do, I don't select anything. If it says H.264, I just hit same as source. Then you want to make sure you do color and alpha. Pre-multiply it. That's the key right there. Color and alpha. All right. Render quality. Use that. So I'm just going to call this arrow 2. And then I'm going to export it. Then I'm just going to go as MOV and just put that right in the Final Cut Pro. I'm just going to go on my finder on my desktop arrow 2 and there is that golden arrow so you can always adjust this arrow in Final Cut Pro 10 as well what I mean by adjusting it I can just go here and hit the transform and then I can always just make this smaller if I need it to and move it over so as you see I'm taking see. arrow pictures on Instagram okay there he is so that's how you do an arrow in motion there are a lot of generators and particles uh, that you have in motion that you can use but I just wanted to show you real quick how to get an arrow in and out of Final Cut uh, out of Final, Final Cut Pro 10 take care